Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Roka and today we are returning to the Project Zomboid of the Polar Winter series. The series where we have pit put ourselves into the height of winter. Now, in the last episode, made some questionable decisions and skirted around in Rosewood attempting to make you know, any sort of progress. Uh, also, I'm, gonna, I'm just kind of explaining things while the game loads here. Uh, yeah. I made some... Actually, we didn't really make any progress. <laughs> I, I think that's kind of the point I'm trying to make here. We didn't really go anywhere. We really didn't do too much. And it kind of just felt purposeless. So this time, we're going to come back with a different approach. I've got a few things that I really want to get done this episode to really feel like I'm making progress and sort of push myself before things go start going south in terms of water collection and power. Uh, we need to get a hands of, on a few things for that, but that's not the point of today's episode. So let me let me run run it down for you. First things first, I need to make sure that we've got enough food to survive what we're going to be doing next. So we're going to be doing a little bit of looting, a little bit of casual looting. But it has become very clear to me that the second thing I need to be doing this episode is getting my hands on a new vehicle because the, the tractor just ain't cutting it. It's It's been very reliable and it's gotten me through some uh, seemingly deadly scenarios, but... I'm thinking we're going to have to retire it. It's it's under a lot of damage, and frankly, it's just too slow uh, to, to, to count on in the future. So after we get some food, we're going to find ourselves a functional car. Maybe that will happen while we're doing that. And lastly, I need to f establish permanent residence somewhere. Uh, we sort of moved away from where we were last time, and we kind of had a safe place. But I'm realizing... It's not ambitious enough. I need to go crazy if I want to make big progress in Rosewood. And so we're going to try and establish a base in the heart of Rosewood. And then maybe have a second base outside so I have somewhere to go in case things get overrun. So yeah, that's the plan for today. we have been staring at a black screen. Let's get into it while we still can. Now we should be safe inside of a house. We did take the time to clean things up around here and just do a quick little health check hand is messed up Ooh, that's kind of bad for us in case you're wondering what the traits are we've got quite a few bad traits but we also got quite a few good traits um, we are a burglar oh no we're un unemployed actually excuse me uh do i have a hot wiring skill no i don't think we do okay so yeah that's that's the reason why we have the tractor is because it had a key in it, I believe. And, okay. Do we have anything in here? No, not really. All right. So, first things first. Let's do a food check. Do I have... Oh, I got food right here. Well, let's let's start with that. Make sure we can get our healing up and, and get rid of this wound. Because we do have... No, we don't have... Uh, slow healing. That's good. That's good for us. That's good for me. Just drink, drink some of this stuff. And just make sure my inventory is good to go before we go. We've got tons of stuff here in the med bag. Some boxes and whatnot. And I do have a little bit of food on me. I believe that we have a ton of food in the back. So maybe, maybe I don't have to do as much looting as I thought. It's been, it's been a while since we played this, guys. Everybody relax. Oh, by the way, we've got the hand cam up for today. Uh, partly because I forgot to change the, the source, but also I feel like this might be a good a good series to have this in. So, yeah, last episode we sort of pulled up through here, which, well, good good thing I looked that way. There's a zombie. Good to know. But, uh, we spent a little time clearing out a margin of safety, but that may not last forever. That may not last forever. So what do we have in the back of this? This is pretty much everything we have. A bit of canned food. Uh, some ammo. Nothing crazy. In fact, 
do I have a pistol in here? No, I need a pistol, actually. Okay, we have the ammo for a pistol, but we don't have the pistol. I'm going to take this meat cleaver, slap it on here, and let's not waste any time. I suppose we just sort of meander off in this direction uh, as soon as I actually clean up my inventory instead of just keeping a bunch of random shit on me. Let's put all this in here. Put all of this in here. Sure, this looks good, actually. A bunch of water. <laughs> we are uh, way overstocked on water, actually. So let me go ahead and clean that up. And looks good. All right. Now we're ready to go. Everything is in the back of this trailer, so really what I want to be doing is getting my hands on something that can pull this trailer. Now, in terms of map it, mappage, uh, we're down here. We're gonna make our way in this direction and toward a, like the southeast. Grab some supplies, see if there's any cars out here that have keys and whatnot. I should probably be sneaking around so I don't get all of the aggro. Okay, it's a little too late for that. Let's, yeah, key first, key first, or cars first, a little bit of extra food because as much as those canned supplies are good, I don't wanna burn through those instantly. We already have a good, good supply of uh, empty cans to hold water. In fact, in terms of water, we actually have a decent amount. So if the game decided to shut down on me, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Now, we're actually about to hit the new year. <laughs> Literally in, you know, an hour and a half. So it's going to be July or July, January 1st. And new year, new me. Gonna be doing some stuff. But let's just get our, let's just find the next farm over before things get too bad for us. Take a look. So I did find another key, but I have no idea where that even belongs to. Now there's a decent bit of zombies around here, so. This isn't going to be a gimme. But yes. Let's talk about my third objective today. I, I actually want to set up in one of the apartments that's located on top of the stores on Main Street. And the reason for that is simply proximity. It's a good place to live. It's got a lot of escape routes. I just need to be close by to, to like gather all the stuff on Rosewood in one place and then potentially even like set up a, a proper base in the Rosewood streets. It's kind of what I want to do. It's just, you know, commandeer Rosewood. I can help it. Now, is this going to be a battle? I kind of want to avoid a huge fight if I can help it. Let's see if this is even worth checking out. Doesn't seem it. Yeah, bathrooms and whatnot. Now, I'm a very sneaky individual. In case you couldn't tell. Very quick, quick and nimble. I would like to get into this. If I can. Really quick. Check inside here. broke into next door house. Nothing in here. Anything in here? Booney hat? No, not today. Not today. There's nothing in here. Perhaps a waste of my time. food on me to keep doing this. I have some food, so not horrible. Not horrible. Just want to see what's what's around here. I don't really know what's going on in here. 
That seemed very close. No. Oh, this could have guns in it. But, uh, yeah. Perhaps unwise to go in there. Let's not get greedy. As much as I would love to have, you know, all of the supplies. It's not, it's not great if I run out of endurance, actually. Kind of messed that up pretty badly, in fact. So I need to... I need to work on that, honestly. My strength and fitness is lacking. I forget that's how I set my character up. I'm going to do a little bit of looping. I want to get in there and see if that's a pistol, because that will make uh, one of the next few parts a little bit easier for myself. Or just walk back. Maybe, maybe I should have taken the car with me. Taken the tractor with me. It sucks that there's not too much loop in here. Otherwise, it'd be good. I'm not really going to watch my stamina, so we're just going to walk away. I don't even think this is where we need to be. I know there's quite a few farmhouses and whatnot in the surrounding area. Where we are now. Nothing amazing. Okay. Let's be smart. I don't think they see me. This guy does. Oh, shit. Turn back around. Just keep walking. Come back to the shed. Uh, which might have a zombie in it, so let's be let's be wary. I broke down the door, so I think they might have left, but doesn't look like anyone's following us. In fact, this is a great chance to just recover some stamina. Perfect. Should probably get inside. We got a Weller's mask. That's that's gonna be good for the future. Oh, and there's a generator. I didn't even see the generator. Okay, that actually solves a lot of problems just from checking this out. I'm not gonna grab this yet, but I will mark it on the map. Uh, let me see this. I'm gonna head here next. Just fucking uh, this thing. I don't want to spend too much time on the map. Okay. Stamina back up. Very nice. Wrench screwdrivers. Take some tools. Louisville map. Don't really need uh, a lot of stuff. I don't really need right now, actually. But is there a weapon in here? No. All right. Uh, we've got a chance. Got a small little haven right here. We're gonna head this direction and then see what's over here. Maybe head back and do a quick loop in this area. There should be some more farms in this direction and come back to our temporary residence for the time being. And in the meantime, I'm gonna be very, very careful with how I use my stamina. Um, and part of that includes making sure that I don't hit my hand, use my hand too much. I don't want to I don't want to go too crazy, but yeah, I'm going to have to eat these potatoes. Hopefully we can find some food in where we're about to go or else I'm going to be sad. Sad if no food. If food, happy. <laughs> oh, shit. So, yeah, I don't really care about these zombies. Not until I know what's popping up. I think this is food storage. So it may be worth. Hmm. Oh, that's a cool. Okay. Maybe worth taking care of some of these zombies. Oh. Fuck. Okay. I might smash.
smash the window and try and get inside here. That's kind of huge, actually. If this has a key. Alright, let's... Be smart. I think I lost them already. I'm a very sneaky individual. Y'all gotta understand. I'm so sneaky. My stealth is through the roof. Let's see if there's any food here. Okay, it might be hard to see in the recording. So I've got my... Oh, it's just dark. <laughs> I don't know if I have cat eyes. Kind of forgot. Oh, good. Good that all these windows are open. Oh shit, there's a zombie in the corner. Just get out of here. Let's do a little doubling back. Take care of the zombies. get back into this one. This first one that I try to go inside is probably the one with the food. Uh, if I can do so without attracting all of the zombies at once, that'd be great. Looks like I'm gonna have to take a little bit of a fight here. Okay, we'll get some good RNG on the zombie push. Sending them individually. Oh, that's a good sign. It looks like my swing is sort of getting better. Last episode, my hand was really messed up, so... The fact that I can swing at these zombies and... ...not be slow is really good for the future. Really, really good. Very near future. Actually, do I have boots? I do. There's a few more. I think this is everything I needed it needed in terms of food. This is food store. There should just be like sacks of potatoes. And whatnot. Okay. Yes. dark, but there are a bunch of crates back here. Oh, it's all rotten. Damn. Alright, we took too long to get to this. Alright. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Okay. Not what we wanted. Not what we wanted. The next thing I need to check is this car. I'm just gonna smash the window. Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> Fighting zombies into the New Year. Oh, word. Word. Nice. Okay. Smash front right window. Let me in. Oh, game freezing. We're back. No key. Dang. Okay. That's all right. That's okay. Uh, let's go switch seat. Figured the trunk was locked. Yep. Not in the dash. Not in the trunk. Dang. I don't have hot wiring skill, I don't think. I could probably double check that. Nope. Ain't got it. Alright. Unfortunate. That is what it is, though. Okay. I'm gonna start heading back up the road. And... 
and just maybe loop back. Actually, we should probably just loop back to our, our current base because in the end, I'm actually probably going to start running out of food again soon. So uh, let's not let's not push the, the margin too much when it comes to my ability to stay away from my stockpile and pretty much everything in my stockpile is just inside the, the tractor trailer. So yeah, let's just, let's make our way back there. We can head the other direction and check out that side. None of you would happen to have that key, would you? I'm not gonna check because it's a lot of physical exertion that I just can't afford to, to do right now. One of these days we will just spend not an entire episode, but a good chunk of an episode just surviving, training our fitness, and, you know, passing passing the time, trying to keep ourselves not bored. But that's not going to be anytime soon, especially with the looming generator and... Well, we have a generator. I guess it would just be water problems. Water's going to be a huge issue for us, actually. Especially... It's gonna shit on me. <laughs> Especially in the winter. I don't know if the lakes freeze over, so any permanent source of water I might have had is maybe not gonna be readily available. And I think we can also collect water from the snow. Snowfall. Oh, this is if I didn't already have a backpack, I would totally make an effort to go for that one. But just walk across the field here, put some distance in a sneak sprint, so I'm not trailing every single zombie back to our current place of safety. Because if that ends up becoming less safe, we're going to have a problem. I mean, just looking at all these zombies, if too many of them approach on my margin of safety and I can't drive away, it's going to be a bad time. So I think I'm going to just do like a drive-by, pick up a bunch of cans, and continue on. Because I don't want to linger for too long if I don't have to. Yes. Walking back over here. Oh shit. Just distance. Gap the shit out of them. Watch watch our exertion. I'd rather have my stamina than zombies. Or I'd rather have my stamina than not having zombies. Simple as that. There's at least, if there's zombies, I can run up to thing, grab some canned food, and be fine. In fact, that's kind of why we're heading back in the first place. But if I don't have stamina, there's probably still just going to be zombies. <laughs> you know, zombies are always going to exist. Fucking zomboids, man. Right, not too bad. Not too bad. Let's grab some food, rest inside one of the houses real quick, and make our. I'm gonna take these fighters by the way. Just grab, grab all that. Okay, we still have more. Pop ourselves into here real quick. Ooh, it's got a broken window. Makes me uncomfortable. I think this should be clear. We spent the time to clear this out before, so... I think we'll be okay, but... If they follow me in here, it's not gonna be a good time. Maybe I could do a little... A little cooking, actually. Let's see what, what we got in here. Grow brush. No, but I know there is some some good stuff in the next house. What the 
house we started in today. So I saw that book and I really want it. Yeah, they don't know about me. I still don't think they know about me. That one might. Oh, it does. Okay. It's alright. Just one. I just don't want them knocking up. Fuck. This is a helicopter. Okay, we definitely need to rest, because we are about to be on the move. Rosewood map. Give me that. Alright, quick. Let's be fast. Uh, do some quick crafting. Quick crafting. Meat patty. We're gonna make some onion slices. We're gonna start making some, some stir fry. Just don't want this, this helicopter to see me. Open some canned stuff to add to our little stir fry. Let's do the chili and the carrots. And it should, yeah. Should be able to add that. Yep. Okay, we got beans, we got carrots, we got sausage and onions. This should actually be kind of banger, to be completely honest. And then we'll save the rest of the cans for. Slap this in here, along with all of the meat. So I can't turn it into anything else. So. Oh shit! I saw a zombie out there. And if I fill this pot with water, it should also be good. Just keep stockpiling water while I can. Pot, the pot I'm going to use for cooking, but these empty cans, I just want to fill with water so I can participate in <laughs> drinking water. Okay. Burnt the popcorn. F. Alright, well. I did not know how fast popcorn burnt. I'm not even gonna bother with this. It's it's not good. It's not worth my time. Eat some bacon. Nice. Just eat some bacon. We're good. All the rest of this is cooking. Let's see. Can I make a stew? Oh, I can. Oh. Keep cooking, I think I fucked this up. Okay. We seared it a little bit. We seared it. Take that off the stove. Take this off the stove. That's almost done. Zomboid cooking experience, everybody. And then just add all this stuff. Uh, it's a little weird mixing meat like this, but... This is just gonna be the stew, you know? Put this back on here. Eat our... Eat a little bit of our stir-fry. In fact, I will eat this whole stir-fry. And this sh injury should be good to go. I think because of my swing speed, I, we're fine. Alright, done, done cooking for now. Let's take a look at our bandage while we have a chance. Stitched. Oh, good. Okay. It's healing. It's still healing. 
uh, we're gonna leave that stitch in for a while. So just just remember, we've got a little stitch under here. Fill all, drink. That's got some time left on it. Let's uh, let's do a little bit of washing. A little bit of washing while we can. Got to keep up on this stuff. Uh, we got to be careful with that actually, because if we go outside while we're wet in the cold, it's going to be a bad sign. Simply put, it's going to be a bad sign. But I am going to wash all my clothing. Shouldn't be too dirty. I've got a lot of stuff on, but as long as I wring it out, it'll be okay. Ooh, I could actually stand to get some new clothes, because the reality is that so I have a lot of holes. It's not very good for protection. Take this off the stove. Oh, that's right. I'm washing up. There we go. Minus 100 fucking hunger, dude. This has got some some calories to it. <laughs> Drowsy. Oh, yeah, I forgot we got to sleep. I'm so used to playing multiplayer at this point that <laughs> forgot that sleeping is the thing. All right, we'll put this in here for now. We'll come back to it. Turn off the stove so it burned it. And the helicopter actually kind of fucked off. Lie down. Let's uh, let's take a sleep. Let's take a sleep while we can. I'm kind of glad that the helicopter just fucked off. I gotta say, our, our new year is. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. There's a few over here. Oh shit. Well. The helicopter event did a little bit more than I would have liked it to. I suppose we defend the fort a little. And then I instantly left my house and shouted, so. Uh, good thing we ate up, because this would be tough without food. Let's not waste too much time just running around. Should probably. I do want to secure this a little bit. A lot of zombies, so we'll see how much damage I can do before I'm getting tired. them to break down the doors on this house be really bad because then like none of these houses have any safety all right actually the cleaver might be better for this admittedly let's um let's do a little bit of fence tactics the fen fence tactics. I'll, I'll show you what that exactly means in just a second. Uh, basically, we just want to kill them as they're coming over the fence. And it's a good way to get criticals. But we are unlucky, so... It means less criticals for me. I gotta be careful while doing this. Okay, that's a really bad idea. It's just a bad idea. Okay. Alright, okay. Cleaver is going to be better for this, I think. Because it's going to do more damage just swinging at them like this.
there, there's probably going to be a lot of this today, so... Strap in for this episode, because... We are training. Man, um, this is a lot of zombies. Yeah. I'm, I'm considering whether or not it's worth it. The answer is probably no. Honestly, I could have a pistol. Should be good loot. I think we're just gonna go. For it. At least until I get tired, because, hey, we just had a nice rest. Get rid of these crawlers. Okay. Officially exerted. Let's do a quick tactic. Oh, maybe not. Hold on. I need a place to sit down, but does not seem to be happening anytime soon. New plan. I'm running in here. I'm grabbing the food we just made. Take this with me. And we're just gonna walk away. <laughs> Simple as that. Make sure we take everything with us. Over here! Hey! Hey, you! Over here! Create safe haven in another way. While while we walk. Now good thing is that I have some vitamins. Let me just take some vitamins. That'll help with the exertion. Give me a boost of energy. Take a few of these. I really don't want to run out of fatigue. Right, I've got like one or two of those left, so wise about our usage. And, um, I guess we're just taking as many of these zombies away from here as we can. Yo, hold on. Keep speed walking, my friend. That's good. And eventually we should be able to double back and come back to this area. It should be safe. Should be safe. I'm trying to keep these all bunched together. Because if we don't, we're going to trail up like, just a bunch of zombies. And getting back here is going to be impossible. Make sure they're all in. One nice big group. Like so. Maybe get our hands on a Molotov, dude. That would be so nice. At this point, we could probably lead everything away and be okay. That seems to be most of the zombies in the surrounding area. Um, is there anything up here, actually? This kind of seems like a dead end. direction just a little bit and then double back before things get too spicy in fact I'll probably just eat better 
caught. Right. That's the case. I'll save it. Eat some canned chili. Much, much. Get some food in us and just go. goes when this ticks up I gotta stop running but I need to put some distance between me and the zombies There's no way I got all of them. It's just not possible. So there. A few over here. Just keep moving. Keep grooving. I have to make my stand a little bit. Yeah, just for a few zombies. Sorry. satchel again. Drop this one. Get rid of that. Okay. Um, so that was basically us taking care of the helicopter event. Nice. I'll reheat the stew. And that was a dead end, so it might be time to just get in the tractor and drive away. I think, I think that's kind of what it's looking like. I have a good idea of where I want to head for uh, looking looking for a car. And it's the intersection to the east. I would like to uh, take advantage of if I can. No, we're going to just eat the rest of this. Eat the rest of this. Very nice. And be... Oh, that's huge. I just saw this. Beretta M9, man. Oh, come on. Finish eating, please. Oh, let's not do that. We have the, we have the mag for this. So I'm just going to take the damn nut. There we go. Alright, our first, our first pistol. Not bad. Not bad at all. Beretta. Good condition, too. We had a mag in here, right? Grab the rounds and the mag. I think we're just gonna get in the, the tractor and go. I do wanna check the condition because getting surrounded again can spell my death if this is low condition. As long as we stay on the road, we'll probably be okay. But uh, yeah, I just didn't want to deal with that. The safe haven is uh, no more. And frankly, I'm just not strong enough to do anything with it. So. Oh man, I really.
really wanted... really wanted the... the aiming book. I gotta remember, because... coming back for that is gonna be crucial. Oh, hey, this is a... Uh, actual ammo. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of reloading here. We actually have... Head in this direction. No longer are we going to use that. Honestly, uh, if I use that, I mean the that location. Sort of a dead location to me. In fact, what do you turn? You can see when we off-road, the tractor just dies on me. It's pretty bad. Very careful with how we do this. I want to go north. Just try to get out of this farming area. Uh, now, detaching the tra trailer would help, but I, I need the storage, you know? We don't have any storage in this tractor normally, so... Be very careful. Okay. Put a full mag in there. Do I have another mag? Suppose not, huh? Ah, that could be something. But I'm not thinking about it too much. Put some of the stuff away in the bag. Oh shit! Okay. There is a way out of here. She just, she just can't turn while you're driving in the, the snow. That's fair. That's probably some thick-ass snow. Just, just a little longer. We'll, we'll find your replacement soon. We'll fix you up at some point. And just have a tractor. <gasps> the truth is... It's, uh, it's reliable, but scary, nonetheless. All right, we're going to head our, back down towards these warehouses, actually. That's kind of what I'm aiming for. Read map. Cool, cool, cool. Good map. <laughs> so, yeah. We haven't really accomplished objective one or two or three, honestly. We have met, not made any progress, and it's been 50 minutes. And that's kind of just the nature of this game, especially with the settings I've set up. There's not not, not enough loot, and to find a car, we're gonna have to get kind of lucky anyway, because I don't have a hot water. So. Just proceed. We are going to need to check this box truck for gas. That much is apparent to me. Because if it does, I'll extend the longevity of the tractor by just that much more. Okay, I'm not ready to use the pistol. Yet. We gotta make this, you know, relatively quick. Okay, quick primary. Siphon gas. You got some in here? Not much. Good enough. All right. Now this this tractor does start up pretty fast, so where's that? Uh, is this the road? Where's the road? I know, it seems like it's below me, actually. It's stalled out. As I said that. Yeah, just a little 
worrying. It's still got some give. It's still got some pull. But if this becomes any worse, it's going to be scary. I just prefer not, not scary. better way out of here? There might not be. I might have to go back the way I came, which is brutal. I don't want to have to go through that path again, because that path has a lot of zombies. That's kind of why I'm trying to avoid it, if I can. But, uh, frankly... It's not looking like there's too many other options. I'm not driving through the trees. I feel like I don't really need to explain that. Yeah, all dead ends. There might be a way out through this way. So that's what we're going to check. Otherwise, I have to go back through that path. And... Um. Oh, okay. What the fuck? It didn't start up. Scary stuff. Scary, scary, scary stuff. I was about to get out and just panic, but... Also, the more I drive around, the worse this gets. In fact, getting back to that path is going to prove troublesome as well. On its own. Forget everything else. Yes. This is what I... You have to be mindful. This is a terrifying path to be on. Because I can't drive out. So I might just have to bail at some point. Our gas right now does not look too great. I gotta say, things are not looking amazing. The polar winter is really... It's making me try hard. Not easy. Not give me oh. I think this is my way out. Oh. Or it's my death. Shit. Alright, I can back it up. I just. I need there to not be zombies there. Oh, wait. What's going on over here? Park, empty parking lot. What is this, though? Is this a gas station? Oh, it's food. I can't see fuck all in here, by the way. It's all rotten. It might be our only option to turn around and go out the way we came. In fact, it's probably better doing that than wasting time looking for an exit that might not exist. It might be here, you know. I should be able to go around this. Let's try that. does feel like the way out. Oh, the house has definitely got stuff in it. And this is looking like a dead end. So. Alright, 
well. It's approaching my bedtime. Honestly, my uh, character's about to get tired very quickly, very soon. Yeah, we're just going out the way I came. Less than ideal, but guaranteed. Oh, please. God, this, like, that speed we were just going at is what we're about to be doing. Up north. I've got all my food on me, so I'm not, not doing well. It's, it's probably because I have a ton of supplies on me that this is going to be, you know, not good. Yeah, you can see the roads starting to. Another way out, I don't know where it is, so. Back from where we came. I'm hoping this this pop that we picked up will sate my appetite. Came. Oof. The handling on this is okay. Prepared to bail. Now it does not help that I am a Sunday driver. This thing would probably be doing a lot better in almost every scenario we've been in so far if I wasn't a Sunday driver. But I am. I don't feel the need to go too fast, but it's uh, definitely a negative trait. Our acceleration kind of just blows. And that's not something we can reverse, so we're kind of just stuck with that. That's really why I want a, a faster car, so, you know, just generally we're better off. One too many close calls on this thing. All right, uh... I'm not even have enough gas to get out of here with this trailer. Like, I, I'm okay with leaving this behind. It has a lot of my stuff, but I can take the essentials and leave. I'm actually starting to get hungry in real life. I don't know what I want to make today. I think I want to make some eggs. metric fuck ton of beans last night, so I'll eat some of those as well. Hank bean combo. Alright. So they're gonna chase us, but if I get a head start through here, I'll be okay, I think. Just keep it on the path. If I recall correctly, actually coming through this the first time is incredibly sketchy, so I'm ready to abandon ship. That's all I'm saying. I'm, I'm ready. Let's go this way. That path might actually have zombies on it now, because we have not been there. Well, we were there before, so we might have hurt the tractor. But, uh, this one might... Also, fuel efficiency. This either doesn't have the greatest tank, or it doesn't have the greatest fuel efficiency. Either way, we're dwindling rapidly. So, actually, this is a great opportunity for me to pop out real quick. Add gasoline. It's not much. There's something. Get the carpus. Okay, uh, can't peaches. Let's open both of these bad boys. 
Oh, we're not moving. And get away from that zombie. Yeah, that, that much gas was not much. Maybe doubled our fuel reserves. So uh, I want to get on the road if, if possible. The main highway. You can see why I don't like this. You would think this thing has like crazy torque and would be able to do this just fine, but no, it's just not it. Not the case. It's probably got a lot to do with the type of road we're on right now. But oh, it's not really a road, is it? No, it really isn't. Get me through this. Through here. Actually, pretty close to the road, I think, already. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Alright, hour into this episode, what have we done? We actually found a generator, which is far more important than you might realize. Just knowing where one of those is, we can always come back and get our hands on that. Well, I probably should have loaded that up, but there's just like really no time for that. We found a generator. We've consumed some food. And that's pretty much it. We really have not done too much. It's, it's hard to be productive. Even when I have a goal in mind, there's no guarantees that I can execute on that. And, uh, I don't actually trust the tractor to drive through all of that. I won't lie. have axe skills, so that's, uh, that's a very good weapon for us. Uh, put that on the belt. Belt right. Patch belt right. Shit. Alright. Here's the road. We almost made it without having to do this, but alas, this is probably the crowd that we drew in when we first pulled up in the first place. I 
think we have a proper fire axe to cut down trees with anyways. Eventually, I will smack everything enough. Uh, maybe before I In fact, let's be smart about this. Let's take pills before this gets too bad. They're gone. Alright. Rest in peace, the... Good, 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 good. No problems there. It's very nice. Oh, shit. Still more? actual break. Oh, fuck. I thought I turned that off. I think I did, but zombies don't seem to care. Okay. Coming out of the woodwork. Alright. I'm trying to just lead them away. Because, frankly, I'm a little concerned about my endurance. Anybody that's about to be here. Uh, let me just deal with it now. This is what I go through just to drive my car. A very passive individual here. But uh, we are sneaky, so. Very sneaky. Backed up. Yeah, I mean, just, just look at this. Means I can do this stuff. And they lost me. Wow. Right, so I could probably sneak right by him. Uh, okay, maybe not when they're looking at me. Shit. Man, I gotta take a break, dude. Oh, no, they did not lose me at all. Okay, what? So much for that. If I can get onto the road, I will be fine, I think. Okay. Should get in the car and leave. I'm breathing heavy. The 
before we do that, just in case things start going south, sit down for a second. Keep our ears peeled. cocktail, some mushroom soup. A little bit of a weird combo. I don't think I care. It's getting chilly. Munching, taking a break. Oh, and I'm getting drowsy. All right, well, we get to sleep in the car. It's okay. In my car, I mean, tractor. You, you're the one that I need to take care of. That's it. All right, please get me out of here. Please get me out of here. Yes, all right. I think we're in the clear. There's just so many zombies before in front of us. Okay. Let's make our way to that intersection. And uh, potentially find a good place to just park it for a second and sleep. It's kind of the ideal. But there's actually probably going to be a lot of zombies on the road here. So. Absolutely no guarantees on that. I have no idea how close we are to this intersection. Probably actually a decent ways away. There's a lot of burnt down cars though. Alright. We're making progress on our second objective of find a new car. First objective, I mean, that's that's just the, always we need food, but I mean, really we were not in the best position to do that. We're not really in the best position to do anything, especially with my fitness. It's like I can't, I can't even go out of my way to like clear a zone. I'm just not fit enough for that. So we've kind of got to rely on the fact that guns exist and they don't take exertion. But we don't, we don't have the ammo for that. So it, it's it's kind of not what we really want. Right. Just hoping this intersection is relatively clear of zombies because I'm going to run out of gas soon so it's not going to be amazing. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is no bueno. Not this intersection. Or was it? Wait, what? place to see. Very tired. Turn on the heater a little. Ah, oh, shit. This isn't the place I want to be. It's 
Is there always a fence here? I'm gonna keep going because I trust my instincts on this, but... This intersection should be coming up pretty soon. Please. If it's not here, like, we're really screwed, actually. It should be. stall out on me now. Alright. We're not gonna make it there. Or we might have, but... I think I need to park it here for a second. I think, in a big pinch, I might be able to sleep on the ground quickly. In this weather, that's like suicide, you know? My goal is to get to the intersection, maybe clear, clear the way, find a car to sleep in for the night. And, you know, check the rest of them. Relatively smart about this. Having these zombies chase me the whole time is probably not the best idea. We'll just meander through the woods until until we get there, I think. situation is rapidly deteriorating because I'm just so tired. I think I can just keep myself awake, but... Like, what happens? I can't sleep here. It's not happening. Usually you can sleep on the ground, but I don't think I, the game will let me in this weather. I'll know when we get there because there should be a road going north to south. Um, and that's, you know, that's the intersection that we're at. That's what we're trying to get to. Um, on the map, how close do I think I am? Oh, we should be almost there. It's like around here somewhere. Might have been a bit further away from that than I realized, but... I think it's worth the trek. There should be a car there with a the key. Come on. Come on, baby. Oh, a clearing? 
Yes. <gasps> it's right here. This is it, actually. Ridiculously tired. Oh, gosh. I actually can't see anything outside of that circle, by the way. But this is it. This is where we were meant to be. Let's, um, let's sleep. Oh, what is this? No way. It's locked. Fuck. No. That would have been so sick. All right, well, we have lock picking skills. Hopefully, I should be able to do the lock picking. I just need to get in a car. This bad boy. Perfect. How do I force myself to sit? I know you can. That's amputation. Sleep. Good night, everybody. Oh. I was getting worried there for a second because... At some point, you just pass out. <sighs> yes. We're refreshed. We made it to our destination. <laughs> Holy shit. Eat some food real quick. Uh, and check these cards. One of these should have a key. And the one that has a key is going to become our, our new friend. Our new best friend. That, that truck right there is probably the best condition car. I'm going to keep this open, by the way, because I don't know if we're going to be able to see keys on, uh, on the ground without it. Before I just start smashing windows, I should check the ones that are open first. Hunting knife, I'll take that. Got a key in here. Okay. Oh, shit. Interesting. A lot of good stuff in here, actually. It's um, ultimately not really what I'm looking for. I'm still drowsy. Did not get a proper sleep in that in the passenger seat. I mean, I might just sleep again after checking all these cars. Oh, we're in. Gun case. Could be huge. Which ammo does this have? A Ruger? No. Alright, well, I don't know if we have any 380, but I'll take that. It's not like we have anything that belongs to us right now, because um, it's kind of all... <laughs> This, this might be good. Oh, fuck, I would love that too. Oh, God damn it. I might smash the window. Okay, I just don't want to get too hasty because we have lockpicking skills, right? Let me try doing that. Create lockpicks. I've block picking in this is sort of a little hard to understand for me. But it should be as easy as I have lock pick. I have screwdriver. And I've got the skills for it, so what gives? <gasps> Aha. It's a little bit to the left here. Let me in. No, I broke it. Oh, I almost had that too. Box broken shit. All right, can I get in on this side? 
I have one left. And this is going to be a different... Set all of our lockpicks on that. We don't have enough paper clips. Uh, it's okay. Mm. I really should have used it on the other one, but that's probably also very hard. Key. No key. Common theme. Mm. Yikes. Okay, I've caught a cold. Frost a little. Okay. It is chilly. It is nippy out. It weighs a lot. It weighs quite a bit. What is in this? Okay, that is that is actually huge. That could be amazing. Get where that is. Let me really quickly just mark it. Something like that. Oh shit. Yikes. Alright, we actually need to do this. And sleep again. This is. Uh, going down now. shirts, man. Alright, replace the, the lumberjack, actually. That's good. 
believe. It's also good. Huge. I don't know where this came from, but it's uh, concerning. Sleep in here. Yes. Oh, man. This nasty cold. Not awesome. Oh, we are taking a nap, dude. Whew, that was one hell of a sleep. Yeah, we kind of need that. We don't have any any med meds to deal with that. So I guess we just eat up some food. I'm gonna eat this uh mutton. It's it's not it's better hot, so it's not gonna fulfill us very much. But theoretically we should have enough calories from that anyway to be fine. So it's not gonna be filling, but should be good to go, in fact. Yeah, we've also got these MREs. Nice. Oh, we're not gonna starve. This is uh, very temporary. But we're not gonna starve. And honestly, I might have to go back and, and go back on my word because we've been put in a very shit situation. <laughs> to be quite honest. And while we're sitting here figuring things out. I'm in no position to go back into Rosewood. And we never even found a car. So it's even more less good. <clears throat> that's, wow, that is a sentence. No, this is just a really bad scenario for us. It is cold today. Well, all right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pass some time to kill this cold and you know, we have a bunch of food, so I'm gonna just wait it out if I can. It's a cold day. I'm gonna cut the recording here and I need to take a break, but I don't wanna end the episode here. I just, I just need more time to do things. So uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I basically inhaled the peanut butter and jelly sandwich in like less than 10 minutes. So I think we're ready to go. I think I, I did some, actually I did some cleaning between now and here and now. But I think for the, this next session, I kind of just want to manage my moodles and see if I can get this to disappear a little bit. Just pass some time. It's it's less than ideal, quite frankly. Mm. And sitting here is not the most entertaining thing. Yeah, there it is. Severely depressed. Yeah, I would also be depressed just sitting in this car, dude. Okay. Let me eat some soup. Oh, game pause. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, the pause and the play button are uh, the same thing in my head. All right, eating some food should maybe help with the depression. Uh, not, not this food, actually. This food won't help. Uh, maybe the MREs will help. Perhaps. Oof. Well, I'm glad we sort of healed up our hand before getting this cold, because... If it had a cold as we're trying to heal this, it would not have worked. Sweet. So it all depends on you. Uh, there's a lot of text on this. Uh, I'm not gonna bother reading it. I'm just gonna take antidepressants. I think this is a safe, a safe play. Let's not risk things too much. I do need to sort of get up and get out because it's just that cold right now. Um, also, I don't even think I could outwalk a zombie right now with how, how cold I am. 
I've just got a sprint. Whew. Let's try to build up a sweat. Oh, I don't know if we can do that. Um, all right. We've checked all the cars that are unlocked, and there are, in fact, no keys. Panic attack. Do I get panic attack? Panic attacks? What? Oh, I forgot that I'm depressive. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. Okay. Ah, paranoia. Use fair. <laughs> Periodically, you get false scare and panic. Okay. I forgot I was a fucking anxious freak sometimes. Which is, you know, makes sense. But, uh, yeah. I, I'm also a depressed guy, so. Girl. I think I'm a girl. Margie Samuel. I think I am a girl. I forgot. It's been it's been a while. I don't I don't know. I'm pretty much gender fluid at this point. Admit it. So we checked all these. There's another tissue, actually. Let's grab that. Equip. Equip this in my secondary. So, all right. I suppose let's check. Let us check the locked vehicles just by breaking in. It's probably worth a shot. None of these might have gas, but we do gas can on us. We do. So we do some siphoning. Let's break front right. Lighter, though. Could come in handy. I'm actually going to grab that. And read the magazine just so I'm not bored as hell. <clears throat> um, what is this? Oh, the gun case. That's right. <sighs> this thing, man. I don't have a crowbar. I don't have either of these. Oh, it looks so good. Wait. So these are... Oh, it's a uh, mechanics, I think, as well. Yeah. Oh, wow. She is in real bad condition. Ooh, doggy. All right. I'm kind of glad I can't drive this thing around. I feel like that would end poorly. It's all locked, man. Awesome mechanics, but you can't actually do mechanics from the front. Okay. You think this is worth doing? It's already bad condition. Fuck it. There's nothing in here. Okay, well. Yeah. That checks. Force here, though. Is the key in the ignition? So this this will be a nice project car uh, um, of the assumption. Oh, it's in here. Okay, we don't need that. It'll be a nice a nice project. I shouldn't even say car. It is not a car. A nice project vehicle later down the line. I already kind of smashed the lock on this, so I'm just gonna smash the window. I broke the lock. But, oh, I can siphon gas from this. Okay. I guess that's just my next play, is siphon gas and move on with my life in a second here. Check all these cars for gas. This is the one that looks the best condition. That's the truth. And the fact that there's no key is just, oh, so sad. Right, there's not a key in the back here. Not a tissue. Clip secondary. All right, let's walk around, check some of these, see if I can get a full can, and that will make me a lot more confident 
in going back for the good old tractor. <laughs> but good old tractor. Oh man, it's, it's at this point, I really wish I was a burglar. Really wish I was a burglar. So I can hot wire some of these. Make my life about 10 times easier. But after we grab this gas, I think, I think I'm gonna make a beeline for Rosewood again. I, I don't know what my obsession is with Rosewood right now, but it might be wise to do that. At least head in the direction of our car, because I don't want to leave all that stuff behind. The closest thing to this is Muldraw, which is just north of here. Um, but that's completely untouched. Like, we have not even begin to, like, start touching Muldraw. So, <laughs> the uh, layering here. Not amazing. I kind of just want to avoid Muldraw, though, because we haven't been there yet. And that means there's going to be a lot of fucking zombies. At least in Rosewood, like, we've tried to do some looping. And that's pretty good. I would love to. But... Oh, another gas can. I will take that. There's a lot of gas cans, actually. You guys, you guys get what I'm trying to say. Don't want to touch the uncleared area. That's unwise. All right, we're gonna take a nice, a nice little sleep. I'm gonna grab as much as I can from the supplies and just get on my merry way. Cause actually, our food supplies have sort of dwindled before I even realized it. Pop in here while it's still relatively warm. And really no key in here. <sighs> Feck. Oh, I guess we just sleep. Yeah, that's my plan. Head back towards the diner a little bit. I mean, there's really no point. The problem is, is that there's like nothing around here. Like this is the most interesting thing for a while. Oh, excuse me. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, let me just manage my inventory. So I want to grab as much of the MREs as I can. Otherwise, I'm just going to be a sad boy. So let me just see. Take a look. A look see. Take a look see. Uh, all my stuff. Let's see if I can just clean up my backpack a little bit. I tell you what, we don't need any salt. We don't need salts. We really don't need this mag or even this weapon. We already have our 9mm. I'm gonna hold on to the shotgun just in case. Uh, spare, spare weapon. Spare water. Wow, we have. Oh, we actually have a ton of water, so I don't, I'm not worried about that. This is why I stockpile the waters, because. You never know when you're just gonna stuck out in the wilderness. Like we'll be fine without food, without water. It's gonna be a bad sign. All right, goodbye, hatchet. I'm gonna keep this mask. Let's see how much I can just put in the satchel here. Pipe wrench. Actually, should be good for belt. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's filled up. Everything else I would like to to if I can. Let's eat a little bit. Grab some of these rations. And then start moseying. I don't know. Somewhere. We gotta go somewhere, man. I'm littering. Oh no. Oh no. Grab some of these rations. And maybe put this gas can away. All right, we have a little bit of gas. And my goal is get back in the tractor and 
just get into Rosewood. It's got everything I need. I just need to fight for it a little bit, which, you know, we're going to be doing if I'm using a tissue. Actually, I used all the tissues. Which is not good. Uh, where is... Supply drop. Don't tell me it despawned. It's, it's hiding from me. It's hiding from me indeed. Uh, a bit further up, I think. Back here or something? I really do need these supplies. It's um, essential for me making it through the next few hours, few days even. Hell, the power could go out anytime soon and I, I wouldn't even know. It's not around here. It didn't despawn, did it? That would be unfortunate. Panic. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No zombies. Just me. Uh, what was the way I came in? Spawned would be really fucking upsetting, honestly. It's gonna be like right here or something. Come on. Where, where is this? Where is it? Alright, when I ran up, it was like up through here, wasn't it? thought so. Yeah, maybe it's actually more this way. Yeah, because I remember there being less trees in the way. Something like back here. Oh, man. Oh, I'm just killing time looking for this. Fuck. This isn't good. Don't tell me they're gone. It's not what I want. Not what I want. Ain't it? Oh, this is rough. Okay. I've got to, I've got to find this. It, there's no way it despawned, right? I might look this up, actually. Because the supplies just despawned. What the fuck? I barely even... Okay. Um, scratch myself running around. Yeah, I figured that was bound to happen. Not amazing. Okay, we have to... I opened up another wound on my hand. It's fine. It's gonna take a while to heal. Shit. Alright. I'm gonna leave it behind. Do I have enough food to do anything? I have no food. No, like, I need to find this, or I'm just gonna be so sad. Oh, God, where was it? I should have marked it better. 
I didn't think it was going to be too hard to find again, but... Hold on. I'm going to find it by looking back at my recording. <laughs> I think I know. I think I know how to get there. It's pole. There's like this group of trees. And then if I go through here... Right here? Right here. They despawned. Unless it's another pole, a different pole. It might be this pole. It might be this pole, actually. Hold on. It's one of the telephone poles. Somebody is messaging me on Steam. It is that one. All right, they, they're gone. Those supplies are gone. Unless I just missed them again. Below. Maybe investigating the area might help. No search focus. Enable search mode. It's got to be up here. I can't see, though. It should be, like, Right here. If I open, uh, I guess I closed it. Ah! Aha! Yes! Okay. Worth it. Absolutely worth looking for these because. Fuck, man. These. These are worth a lot for me. Alright, I'm gonna unpack these. I don't think I need the water. I'm gonna pack up, unpack as many of these as I can. I got... So distracted by that shit, man. Uh, where is all the supplies going? Shit, I'm just getting a bunch of... It's not not what I need, game. <laughs> Sorry, I don't need these radios. Uh, I'll dismantle them. Might be able to do this in the car, but... Fuck, I... Alright, we know where this is. We can just come back for it, so I'm not too worried, but... We don't need any of this stuff, so... I'm gonna drop it. Keep opening these bad boys. There's gotta be more food in here. And uh, I'm not really helping my gold, honestly, but. Come on. First aid kits. Anything good in here? Suture needle. I see that. Give me that. Else can go. Hold on to the alcohol wipes. Don't need any of this. I don't need the aluminum. Come on. There's no more food in here. That's gonna be fucking depressing. You got MREs out of the first one. Was it? <gasps> yes. Yes. Let's go. Okay. I'm saved. Actually. Uh, fuck. Alright. Here's the plan, everybody. We're gonna make our way back to the tractor. It's got food. We have gas. So, we'll be able to drive out of there. The problem is, is all the fucking zombies that were there. Um, and, eat one of these in the We need to find another house. Actually, I think I'm just gonna drive into Rosewood and try and try and do some juke tactics. Do some juke tactics and and 
get myself occupied in one of the houses. Uh, lead them away from, from the apartments. I think that actual suburbs will be too difficult for me to clear out. Like, there's, there's no chance of me actually getting everything away. What's nice about Main Street is most of the zombies are going to be in the street. Not really... Not really in the buildings too much. I mean, they will. They definitely will be in the buildings, but... I should be able to just walk around the street and yell a bit. And do some maneuvering and, and hopefully drag enough zombies away from those apartments that I'm thinking of. And this is a good opportunity. Am I faster than the zombies? Yes. Okay, that's, that's fine. Our cold seems to have... It's actually, it might actually be going up in a way. So we're moving fast again. It might just be being... Gift. The reason for those apartments, it, again, it should just be easier than the suburbs. There's so many zombies in each house. That's just going to be a, a never-ending stream of zombies if I try and uh, if I try and deal with the suburbs. But the main street we've already sort of tried to deal with, so not the end of the world. Also, we're basically consistently just yelling. That's what the cold does. It's, it's, uh, it's not good. We have stat debuffs. We also are fucking coughing and sneezing. So. It blows quite a bit. Uh, yeah, I, I think just my chances of juking around are much better. The other thing I'm thinking about is... Yeah, that's pretty much it. This cold really is going to prove to be an issue. So I'm just non-stop sneezing, so... We're going to have to end at a point where we're basically under siege. I think. Uh, and there's really no sneaking here. Just try not to use as much endurance by sneaking. I mean, it's it's not super loud. Okay, it's still kind of fucking loud. <coughs> hey, over here, hey you. <coughs> my plan gather all the zombies cuz I might as well Double fuck. Wait. it's unlocked and it has a key okay. let's just go this way while we're Man, that could have been so sick. The most random fire truck ever. Fire vehicle, I should say. Not really a fire truck. Okay. Let's eat some more food. He has to sign up. I don't know what's up here. This will just be good for my general knowledge. Anything for me? I guess it's no. Okay, we got a new target. New vehicle to check. Another one up here. Is that a Jeep? I think it was. Pressed. That's all right. It's okay. Oh, it's not. Yeah. Is this a rat? It is. What is this? 
No, 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 get me out, get me, get me. Uh... stuff. If this is functional, that's really good. I'm really hoping that dragged enough of them away to get in. Any amount of distance so that way I can put the gas in. Get the gas ready. Small break in the zombies is all I need. But I remember on this road, there's not that many. Not that many breaks. Right here. Right It's 
fuck? God damn it. All right. Oh, this is really scuffed, and I'm realizing I'm sneezing. It's never going to work. Okay. I had a chance to rest, though. That was good. all the strength I can get. These have so many calories, by the way. It's actually kind of insane. Bunching tactics. It's just not happening. I don't know why I'm trying to make it happen. Incredibly scary doing this one more time. But usually this woods tactic is only good for single use because then the woods get flooded now thankfully i think they all got distracted by my coughing and sneezing again so it's not like any of them stayed but on high alert Run it. I'm running it. I can add gas. And sit up. Oh. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Yes. It was half a quarter. <laughs> That'll be enough to get us back to Rosewood. Holy shit. Uh, it's so scuffed, man. This whole series has just been so scuffed. I've set it up in a way where it's... It's not going to be uh, easy. Easy to live in. And it's not even, like, polar temperatures. Like, the, the series is called Polar Winter. And that's literally just a creative name that I came up with. I thought it was cool. It's just normal, you know, winter weather. It's below freezing by a, a few degrees. That's actually, that is pretty fucking cool. I would say. 13 degrees is, is fucking cool. But I think the loot rarity kind of scuffed. Same with the car rarity. Now, this is a, a, a town down here. But it's a pretty big suburban area that, quite frankly, um, it's got a lot of zombies. We're not prepared to do it. So, again, I, the only reason we have to stick to Rosewood now is because it's probably the only thing that even, you know, has anything 
worth my time. Because I don't have much time with the rate things are going, and I need to be near some kind of food. Rosewood's got all of that, so... We're gonna need to just be sneaky as hell in Rosewood, which, yeah, this is kind of hard. It's cold. <laughs> R.I.P. my builds. It's fucking for real. And the days are going by. Like, it's just... It's not awesome. It's not awesome. We're in the early levels of fitness, so it's actually not terrible. Because at the end here, these just take so long to do. So we'll probably get fitness 5 at some point soon. Same as strength, that'll probably also level. That's going to be huge. Strength 6. Massive. Do I have organized? I keep forgetting like, who I am. I forgot that I'm an owl, so I do like to sleep. We're actually going to be needing to sleep soon, so... Good thing we're getting over here. That's fine. So many fucking calories, dude. Your hunger stat is not all about calories. Well, it's not all about the hunger stat. It's all about the calories for the most part. 1,800 calories is a lot. Not for an apocalypse survivor? Oh, shit. I'm getting tired right now. Oh. What a maneuver. Tempted. I mean, there is this gas station, so at the very least, I would just park here. It's just not worth it anymore. One, two, three, four. Time to go. I just wanted to grab some food because I am running out. This is the rough part. Now we did secure one of the motels. I might stay there for the night. I just want to see how we're looking around here first. If I if I cruise, if I just send it, I'd be okay. This would be a great time for having. A tissue. I'm actually a little upset that I, I used those so quickly, so hastily. Oh man. Now oh, everything's fucked. Yeah, shit. So I'll do a little drive by while we get some exercise in. I kind of have to sneak though. 
case anything that isn't alerted by my sneezing is going to be the sight of me. Shit. So, there should be apartments up here. Above the bookstore. I think this is where we're going to be trying to live. Also above this. There's two sets. But I believe... And, and this is a great opportunity to just start, start corralling. And we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to do a very good job at this or like my sneezes are just gonna betray me. I don't want a weapon in my hands, honestly. It's uh, I've got very limited time to make this work. I believe. One of these has like two entrances. Two sets of staircases. It's all it's all hitting me at once, guys. Alright, something that's actually very important. changes things. The door is locked and I can't even get in. That's not good. That's so much from my thought of having a cleared rose. I think I it. it may prove prove to be fair, guys. And this is my noodles. It's getting colder too. It's, it's starting to warm up. But... Oh boy. That's also an apartment right there. Okay. That's most of them. Try my best to make this work, everybody. Now, one thing we're not struggling for is food, which is that's good. I can always do a quick move on the plan is go into the backyard and jump it on the other side. Shit, it's all the frozen right here. Oh! Why? I just wanted to see if this was clear. Was it worth the risk? Sure, it'll be easy to set up. What's it called? 
residence there, because we'll just put wind rope out the window. Alright. It might have to be good old reliable. By old reliable, I mean this one car that we slept in that one time ages ago. Oh, fuck, man. We might die here. This would be such a sad end. Stand. Where am I? Fuck. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Please. If I lose the ability to walk, it's GG. It's been fun. It's been fun, y'all. Uh, I think my character's gonna tap out. If I had, if I had. Vitamins. This might have been possible. Don't fail me now! Back up. Oh. Drive! Uh... Uh... Don't get stuck! Oh my god! We live! Oh my god, we live! Holy shit! <laughs> no, bro, come on! I don't want to live in perpetual... Like this. I don't want to live in this perpetually. Oh my god. My heartbeat. <laughs> Holy shit. My chest is pounding. Tractor coming in clutch one more time. Just just one more time is all we needed. Okay. All I need is this house to be safe for one night. And I'll be okay. The reason I left so early is because I know this is probably the closest save days, and, and and now I can use it again. Uh, instead of, you know, living there, trying to live there, getting overrun by zombies, now I don't have a safe place anywhere near Rosewood. It's a sad time. Theoretically, 
this should be relatively safe. And if I put enough distance between me and the zombies, they won't even know. I can't afford to drive back there, though. That will be a death sentence if they hear the car. They're going to hear me, but if they hear the car, that's even worse. Margie Samuel is gonna live to see another fucking day, dude. <sighs> oh my gosh. It's safe, too. Fuck me. Sleeping in this one, I don't even care. It's too far to go the other one. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. Just pass the fuck out. If I die in my sleep, it's, it is what it is. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, we. Oh, the cold is gone. No way. You're joking, right? Oh, we just passed the fuck out. <laughs> Yo, we're back. We're so back. We're alive. <laughs> Everything is fun. Okay. <sighs> I had plans for this episode. Sometimes things don't go as you plan, and maybe I need to come up with a new plan for next episode. Ladies and gentlemen and non-binary folk, this this has been Project Zomboid, The Polar Winter. I am struggling, man. At the very least, we end this episode. I'm just a little hungry. Whatever. That's fine. We can deal with that. The cold went away. That's huge. I don't want to ever catch a cold again. That's going to create a lot of problems for me. I need gas. I need food. I need a lot of things. And you're just going to have to subscribe and watch the next episode if you want to see that stuff. Thank you all so much for watching. This has come way too close to dying once again. I, I can't handle it. My, my heart can't handle it. I'm... Um, gonna go. Bye!